Hi everyone, my name is Roshni and for those of you who don't know me, uh, I head up the customer success team here at Sweet Files. So today I'm going to be taking you through the latest functionality for the PDF editing uh, in Sweet Files Web App for Super Sweet customers and that is the PDF merging. So we'll talk through how to merge documents together using the new PDF merge tool. I'm also going to cover off the document editor. So we've introduced this and it will allow you to reorder your pages, rotate your pages, as well as allow you to add and remove uh, pages from your document. And then finally, just a quick note around the document packs beta, which some of you may have been using to combine your documents. Um, over, the over the last wee while. So I'll sort of give you a little bit of an update on what's happening with that. So before we get started, I thought I'd just let you guys know that if you do have any questions, can you please add them to the Q&A section in the Zoom webinar uh, panel? So hopefully you can find that really easily. If you can use the Q&A section rather than the chat, that would be amazing. It's just that I can get a record of any questions that you've asked. And if I don't get a chance to answer them on the spot, then at least I have a record of them so I can follow up with you separately later. And I will, or I am already recording the session. So if you want to watch back later, or if one of your colleagues has registered but can't make it, then we'll be sending you all a recording um, a little bit later on. So I think I've put 45 minutes aside for this webinar today, but I honestly think it's going to be pretty quick. So let's just get started and I'll work through what you need to know about combining your documents in Sweet Files. So what I'll do is just jump into Sweet Files here. And here I have a couple of documents that I want to combine. So what we will need to do to combine documents and site files um, using the new functionality is we need to go into one of our PDFs first. So I'd recommend that you jump into the document that you want to be first in the order. Um, that's, that's probably the easiest way to do it, but you can always rearrange your pages later. Um, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to jump into this letter and the other thing to note is that we are only able to combine PDF files. So if you don't already have your document in a PDF format, then please make sure that you've converted that um, to a PDF, you know, before you go combining them. For those of you that don't know, you've got the request signature button in Sweet Files. So even if you're not using the signing functionality, that request signature button is a really quick, easy way to combine com um, convert a Word document, so a docx file, into a PDF. So give that a go if you haven't already. So you click onto the document and that will load the preview. And as you'll hopefully already know, you on the super sweet plan will have this edit button. So one of the things to note um, is that the functionality that I'm showing you through today is only available to those of you who are on super sweet. So if you are on SuperSuite, you've got access to things like document signing and the Connect portal. And so the P PDF merging and other functions that I'm going to show you shortly, these all form part of your subscription. If there's anyone here that is not on the SuperSuite plan and you think, oh, these, these things look interesting, then just pop me a note and you can flick through an email to me at roshni at sweetfiles.com and, um, and I can enable a trial of the SuperSuite functionality for you so that you can give it a whirl. So SuperSuite, you guys have the edit button. So you click on that. And so hopefully you're already familiar with some of these annotation tools like the drawing and highlight. Um, if you're not, I did a webinar on that last month, so I can flick that through to you if you're interested. Um, the ones that we have added now is this merge button, so the little paper icon with the plus, that will allow you to merge your documents. And then the other uh, new button is this document editor, and that's where you can go to rotate and rearrange and delete pages in your documents. So first of all, we'll just look at this document here. It's just a two-page file. 
And let's just say I want to merge a document um, and append something to this file. So we click on the merge with button and that will just point you back into the folder that you were in to begin with. So this is the letter that I already have. So I'm going to append this folder structure PDF uh, to the end of this document. So you just choose the file by clicking it and then the button will be bright blue and then you can click choose. And then that will have already added that um, PDF, the second PDF, quite a big one. So um, you can see that that's now been added to the, uh, to the end of that document. So if from here you want to add another document, you can, you just click on the merge button again, and you're not restricted to this particular location. So you can see that you can navigate back. So in this particular view, you can go back a couple of steps, so a couple of folders. Um, so I could go back to my clients folder if I wanted to. Um, but if you're, you know, five or so folders deep, you won't see the full folder path here. But we're introducing this little drop down here. So if you click on the three dots next to um, the clients folder, you'll be able to see a list of any previous folders. So you're not going to lose sight of the entire folder path. So if you had something um, at the home level, say, and maybe it's stuck in your business folder, you can go through and let's go and find something uh, in my operations folder. I think I've got tons of job reports. So let me just organize that by my most recent and we'll append the job report from the 19th of August that I ran. So we'll click choose on that. Again, it's going to add that to the bottom um, as the last um, page or pages of this file that we're working on. So one of the things that you can then do is you can click on the document editor and that is going to take you into a view of all of the pages in your document. And so here's that loan job report that I added in as that last document. Let's say that I wanted to actually have that in the second position. So what I can do here is I can click the page and you can see here that that shows that one page has now been selected and I can just drag and drop that. Um, so you just kind of hover over it and drag and drop it up and then wait till you see that uh, long blue line and release it. And then that will add that page into the order that you want. If you want to make these two pages um, after the job report, then you can unselect. So you can just click, um, click off that um, or click there like that. So you just click the document or the page again and that will remove the, the blue outline so you know that it's no longer selected. And then you can click on the other two. So you can pick up and drag and drop and remove rearrange documents and pages in the document at once. So we can bring them together, chuck them at the end of that job report. And so now we've rearranged that order. If you have changed your mind and you no longer want these um, selected and you want to actually, um, you know, delete the job report page, say there is under this um, three dots, you can go in and select none. And so if you've selected multiple pages, it's an easy way to just remove the selection. If you've got a wider screen, then you'll actually see those options on the toolbar. So I think I've just got a too small a screen today. Um, and so it's showing that under those three dots. Um, and then in terms of this job report, say I want to delete it, you've got the delete page option up here. And you've got the ability to rotate pages as well. So what we're going to be doing um, on Monday next week at this stage, we're actually going to be giving you a couple of rotate options. So we're going to introduce a rotate view. And so that's going to be for everybody. And that's going to be when you're previewing your file. So that is going to be showing up uh, as a little cog icon on, 
um, the preview of your PDF. And so that will just allow you, as you're viewing the document, you can change the orientation of your page. But that's only going to be available um, while you're previewing the documents. So that's not going to save the orientation. But, and I probably don't have a very good example in this document, but I'm just going to pick a page. Um, let's just select this one. We can rotate that page and we can save that orientation. So in this case, using the editing tools on SuperSuite, you can lock that orientation, um, that orientation change in. So I'm going to save those changes. And as we scroll down, you can see that um, that job report's been removed and it's just everything is as expected. And if we come right down to the bottom, we'll see that that last page, page's orientation has been uh, locked in as well. One of the really important things once you have finished making any amendments, and um, this is kind of similar to when you're doing annotations and suite files on your PDFs, you want to click the save or save and close button. So those, I'd probably make those two um, your go-to. So save is if you want to just save what you've done so far and then carry on making changes to the document. Uh, and then the save and close, that is going to save uh, the document and take you out of editing mode. So save and close, if I click that, it just takes you back to that edit mode and maybe the next step for you might be to send this file out for document signing, which you can do from that point forward. So I hope that um, that helps in terms of getting you acquainted with the new merge functionality. So right now, one of the things that you might note that is a little bit different compared to if you were using that old document packs beta functionality is that you can't right now do a multi-select. And so what I mean by that is when you're in here and you say maybe you want to add you know, three or four documents at once, you cannot do that. So um, that is something that the team are actively working on. Um, so we should expect that change to come through um, probably next month, um, if I'm honest. So that is something that we're definitely working on. The other thing that you may have noticed is that the document packs feature um, so the beta functionality is not currently fully functional at the moment. So the team are looking to reinstate that. So that will give you the, um, that option in the interim until such time as we have multi-select available in this new merge tool. So hopefully that's clear, um, but just watch this space and we'll be providing some more updates on, on what's coming. So you might have already noticed that we've been making quite a few changes to to sweet files, um, mainly the sweet files web app here. So if you've been using, say, our recent um, view, so jumping in here and finding out uh, what you've recently been working on. Um, what we've just launched today is we've just changed the filters. So we've added some filters along the top of the screen here and um, before they were on the left and the left hand side panel. So we're making lots of um, incremental changes to the web app and the kind of last um, last big change that we will be making in terms of the design of suite files is going to be that files view. So um, you can expect to see a lot of this new look and feel make its way into the main files and folders view um, over the next wee while. So those of you in our beta community will be able to get early access to that. And then for those of you who aren't, um, we'll be rolling that out um, in stages uh, probably from next month. So just watch this space. Um, so you'll find those filters here on the recents as well as in the um, advanced search results. So if you press enter when you are making um, doing search in the top toolbar here, then you'll also see those filters have come, um, come up along the top of your screen there. So that's a little bit of a side tangent, um, but I just wanted to let you know that we're working on all of the um, multi-select functionality as part of this wider Re, rebuild, redesign of the files and folders screen. So super, super exciting. Um, can't wait to get everything uh, nice and refreshed. And it just gives us the opportunity to add, um, you know, a little, a few little uh, things in there for you as well. So you'll find, as I said, the, um, the ability to rotate the page view that's coming up next week. So probably from Monday. And so from then you'll be able to have a little bit of a um, play with the view and the orientation of your pages. 
Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of all I had to really talk about as far as that's concerned. So what I might do is because just to stop me rambling, really, um, is just see if there's any questions. So I'm gonna have a little quick look at the Q and A section and see if you guys have any. And um, so someone has asked, does each user need to have the super suite plan in order to use this functionality? And um, so yes, that's right. So our subscription plan is um, per user and it's priced in a way that if, you know, if everyone, if you want the document signing or connect or merge functionality, um, then everyone would need to be um, on the super suite subscription. So we don't um, provide split subscription plans. Um, Samantha has asked whether or not we can redact in the document editor. So that's a really good question. We don't have that facility right now, but what I'll do is I'll follow up with the um, product team because they do have a lot of other um, you know, feature requests and things like that. So I'll be able to see where, um, where we've kind of landed as far as introducing a re an official redact function in the document editor. So um, Samantha provided I've got your details. I'll be able to circle back on that for you uh, after this call. Um, and so Donna's asked a question around signing, which is cool. So um, when adding placeholders for signing, it seems that they can't overlap for successful signing. Is that correct? It looks like we will need to update existing templates with larger spaces for placeholders. So that's actually um, one of the things that we've recently launched is the ability to resize your signature fields. So Donna, maybe we can chat offline around um, maybe the particular file. You can provide an example to us. Um, I'll probably ask you to, to flick that through to support at suitefiles.com, um, but you can definitely copy me in as well. And then we can, we can take a look at um, how we can help get that nice, that placement perfect for your documents. So yeah, I wouldn't imagine it would require you to change your templates if your previous templates were, um, you know, were set up to use for the, old, the, the older document signing functionality. We really haven't changed too much other than the ability to resize. So um, let's, let's circle back on that um, offline and we can hopefully sort that out for you. Um, oh, another document signing request. So Monique has asked if we can please, please bring back the vertical and horizontal um, alignment in the document signing. So I will definitely ask the product team on your behalf um, whether or not that's possible to bring back. So I will certainly um, follow that up for you and let you know. Uh, and then someone's asked, once we finish editing the document, are we able to save the document into a separate file? So, um, are you, so in terms of saving to a separate file, are you maybe meaning just to take that and save a different copy of it? I'll show you how you can save a copy um, in Suite Files web app. So let me just switch back to here. Um, so let's just jump in and find that file. Okay, so this is now our, um, I guess, our final merged document, if you will. So let him um, let that open up there. So in terms of saving this as, a, as another file, or are you kind of asking around um, making sure that you keep an original copy of that first letter? Because I guess I, yes, I've combined everything, but I still don't have a standalone copy of this. In, in either case, no matter which scenario you're talking about, um, I probably use the copy feature in, uh, in Sweet Files. So what you can do is you can select a file. So let me just start um, in another folder. Let's just say I want to copy this Word document, for example. So what I would do is just check the box here and then select the move copy option. And then let's click the merging within our folder, and then you can click the copy button here. And so that's going to take a copy of that document 
and place it in the folder of your choosing. So the only caveat here is that you can't, um, you cannot create a, a copy or you can't add a copy of a file to the same folder, it's just that it will kind of, um, it, it doesn't really appreciate files with the same name being in the same folder. So that's something that we're gonna be looking at um, making that a little bit more user-friendly there. But yeah, in the meantime, hopefully that will help. So what you could do is just start off with um, a file and then make a copy of it to another folder and then use that to, as the one that you combine everything with. So hopefully that helps answer your question, but certainly let me know if that doesn't. Um, and then Troy's asked, could there be an option where you could select to delete the files that have been selected to be merged? I'm not sure I follow Troy, but that is just me, sorry. Um, delete the files that have been selected to be merged. Okay, this is when webinars are, are, are tricky because I can't just open it up and, and have chats, but um, maybe we'll talk about that offline as well. And then Raymond's asked if there is a watermark function. So that is coming soon. So I think, so stamps, um, so we're calling them the, the stamps. Um, so that's that's going to be coming soon. I'm not too sure if those stamps are going to be predefined, but I know that you can certainly pop something onto your document and kind of, um, yeah, wash it out. So change the transparency of that stamp. So in terms of like, Putting draft or approved, things like that. So we'll be able to, we'll be posting that to our release notes and hopefully just putting a little, a little pop-up in Sweet Files when something like that's available. But it has been something that the team have been talking about. I'm just not too sure where that's at. So I can follow that up and let you know. But that has certainly been a, um, a feature request as soon as we launched the PDF um, annotation functionality. So I can imagine that that will be available um, quite soon. Um, and then Charlene's just talking about the cost of the super suit plan. So Charlene, I'll, Shireen, sorry, I'll, um, I'll, I'll get in touch with you just to let you know the various options for you there. Um, and Greg has asked if there is an option to upload a signature JPEG file um, to place in a document. So that's something that we had originally looked into. Um, at the moment, there's not the ability uh, to insert a JPEG file um, into a document. So we don't have the ability to insert an image into your PDFs. Um, if you're using document signing, if you are not aware already, you can customize your own signature. So what you can do is in your username at the top right in the Sweet Files web, you can go into user settings and then under signature, you can choose to customize your signature. So by default, it's going to be just the script, a scripty font. Um, one of the other things to note is that you will need to, under your account, just set your first name and last name in order to have that come through correctly. So you'll know you'll need to do that if you don't see your name in the top right corner of Sweet Files. If you just see the cog icon, then you need to go in and set your, your name. Uh, and then in the signature, back in the signature area, if you click on edit signature, then you've got a space to draw your signature. So if you've got a stylus um, and a touch screen computer, your lucky thing, and um, then you can draw on the screen to get your signature into Sweet Files. The other option you have is to draw on mobile. So you can click on um, the draw on mobile. It will give you a QR code that you can scan on your camera app on your smartphone. So um, yeah, if you've got a smartphone and just open up your camera app and hover over this little, your little square, you'll get a different square. Um, so you hover over that and then you'll get pointed to a screen where you can um, draw your signature on your smartphone. So that's a pretty cool little, um, little trick there. If you weren't aware of it already, we um, may very well bring the ability to add a JPEG, but if we do, it's probably most likely going to be in the setup area um, rather than within the PDF annotation or editing area. So um, yeah, we'll um, certainly let everyone know if that does become a feature um, in, in the future. I know that there are some doc signing 
um, changes or another another wave of doc signing updates coming later on this year, maybe before Christmas, we'll see. Um, okay, so um, Marina said, if you want to combine two documents, for example, the original document will be amended as you'll merge them both. Yeah, so I think it might be what we were talking about earlier so that um, if you want to keep, if you want to have that original file just still as a standalone document, then I'd, I'd just make a copy of it so that you've got the original and then um, you can use the copy to kind of merge into to other files. Um, oh yeah, Raymond's just said that in the, when you're editing, um, sweet files, can sweet files change the default text size to 12 point instead of 18? A, the smaller size is better for most of the time. So very timely, um, def definitely a very timely piece of feedback there, Raymond. Um, their team have actually been discussing this this morning. So um, yeah, we've got a sprinkling of feedback around the font size um, when it comes to editing your PDF. So yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll see what happens there. I can't confirm um, if anything's going to be happening there quickly, um, but I'll certainly, um, certainly pass your feedback on and that kind of just gives the team that extra bit of feedback to kind of push that through, which is, which is awesome. So thank you for suggesting that one. Um, do bookmarks get created in merged files based on merged document names? I don't believe so. So um, essentially, you know, what, what I've shown you there, there's nothing um, that the documents get combined and I, I don't, maybe that's a feature of another um, PDF software that we just, yeah, we don't have that. Uh, okay, cool. So regards to deleting, oh, Troy's gets just some, a little bit more info, hopefully. Um, I'll, I'll be able to just give me one second to read this and then I'll, I'll, I'll um, try and summarize that. So if you wanted to create a merge document, so you've got file A, then you add B, C and D to it, rather than go in and delete B, C and D manually after creation, you could choose to auto delete them upon saving the file. Um, Okay, cool. I'll, I'll pass the feedback on to the products team and see, um, yeah, see what they reckon. Um, but yeah, I don't know that we've got a solution. So I guess that's just a, yeah, a case of just not having a whole bunch of um, files in your site, really, I guess. Yeah, okay, cool. I will certainly pass that on. And um, so I think I have answered all the questions. I'm just going to dip into the chat to see if there's any there. Um, oh yeah, it was around the, the vertical horizontal alignment. Um, oh, and someone's asked, can you merge documents not saved in sweet files? So you can't, and um, so the, the best thing to do is to add them into sweet files first. So keeping in mind that you can only combine PDFs, um, you know, if you've downloaded a PDF from another system, um, so what I'll do is I'll just jump into another folder here. So let's just say we have this folder here. Um, I will drag and drop, I'll drag and drop that. I've just got something on my local computer here. So let's just pretend that's in my downloads folder you would drag and drop that into the Sweet Files web app um, before you go ahead and combine it. The other thing that you can do, so if you're on any web page in Chrome, is that you can take a document. So maybe, um, for example, if you're in Zero Practice Manager, um, I wish I had logged into that prior to this. Just give me two seconds, and I should be able to do that relatively quickly just to... Um, I have to do my uh, authentication. So just let me do that because I can um, show you how you can easily file PDF documents that you might have run online. Um, you can save them into sweet files. Okay, so this is going to take me quite a while because I need to log into two different places to get my password for zero. So what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to jump into our help center. Um, which is help, no, that's not it. 
help.sweetfiles.com. Hot tip, I should follow my own instructions. Go into Sweet Files and just click on your name and click on Help Center. And let's just, let's just go into the release notes page. So that's under what's new. Um, and you, let's just print this. So I'll, I'll use this as an example, but let's just pretend this is a nice, beautiful report that we've got out of Xero. So in Xero um, and probably in other apps, but I just use Xero because uh, I'm a little bit biased, but what you can do is you can access the print settings of that report. And then you can use something called Sweet Print to get that PDF file into Sweet Files nice and easily. So the prerequisite for this is that you need to have the Chrome extension installed. And if you are using Xero Practice Manager and you've got your client folder links all working, then that means that you're, you've got the Chrome extension. So the Chrome extension just sits up in the top right of your Chrome browser. It's a Sweet Files lightning bolt there. Um, and if you can't see it there, it might just be hidden underneath the, the puzzle icon here. And you can click on that puzzle to pin that uh, Chrome extension to your view. Um, so that just sits there uh, innocently and just helps you to uh, click on your folder links and brings your document view in for you via Xero Practice Manager. But what you can also do is if you access the print settings of any uh, file, so I'm just going to press control P on here, to bring up a, a print preview. Um, so you can see that this has created a, a file, a printable file for me. And rather than just printing it to your printer, you can use Sweet Print to save that PDF down into Sweet Files. So what I'll do is um, just show you the very first, what will happen the very first time you use this, which is that you'll have to click on Destination and click See More. And then that will bring you up a list of all of your uh, printers and other, other things that you can print to. And you'll find Sweet Print uh, with the Sweet Files logo at the at somewhere in this list. So if you select that, then that will make your destination Sweet Print. And then you don't need to make any other changes to these settings. You just click on Print here, and then that will point you to your Sweet Files site. And so from here, you can click on your clients, um, I would probably just use the filter to just get narrow your results down. So we'll pop that into the Taco Cat merging webinar folder and just name your file. So we'll just put help center release notes. It's a bit of a plug for my release notes page. Um, so click save on that. And then if we go back into Sweet Files and we go back into uh, Taco. Cat Limited, Merging Webinar, you'll see that the Help Center Release Notes PDF has been saved um, as a PDF file in, to, in, in Sweet Files. So it'll just take a while to load. Um, one of the things to note is that we have made some improvements to the loading of your PDF. So hopefully you guys have noticed an improvement there. Um, if you are having any issues, then do reach out to us um, with an example and to our support team and we can pass that on to the wider team here. Um, but yeah, it just depends. Um, I think we've tested with you know, 200 and 300 page documents and, um, and they do load. Um, so just do let us know if you're having any trouble there. Um, so yeah, on the release notes, you'll see that we've just posted the new filter layout um, and Monday we should have some more updates for you as well. So I hope that helps. And um, I know we've had a little bit of a mixture of, um, of questions around signing and merging, but um, yeah, if you do have any other questions at all, then do let us know. Um, I don't know where my um, little info um, slide went, but if you need to contact us, the best thing to do is to reach out to support at sweetfiles.com because um, we have just quite a few of the team monitoring their inbox. If you have any queries around um, the plans or you want to have a super sweet trial, then you're welcome to reach out to me uh, directly, Roshni at sweetfiles.com, so it's R-O-S-H-N-I at sweetfiles.com, and I can, um, um, either myself or Arisha can set you up with a couple of weeks to give everything a go. But yeah, if you do have any questions or any feature requests or anything like that, just feel free to get in touch. But Hopefully, yeah, we'll have some more cool stuff um, out to you guys 
um, over the next way a while. Thanks so much everyone for attending. Um, I'll flick you guys a copy of the recording and in the next sort of day or so, hope you have a really enjoyable rest of your day and look forward to seeing you again at my next webinar. Thanks everyone.